Welcome back. Athletes were able to step away from competition for a bit when they took part in the opening ceremony last night. But that doesn't mean they weren't being judged. The parade of athletes gave countries a chance to introduce their teams to the world. And it gave the world a chance to critique the team's uniforms. So which ones were worthy of gold medals and which should have been disqualified? My next guest was watching the International Fashion Parade with an expert eye. Cyril Castleman is senior editor of Fashion News at Fashion Magazine. And she joins us now. So, Sarah, let's start off with some of your favorites. And I understand the Netherlands scored well for you. I thought they did a great job. You know, these were outfits that I really thought could have leapt from an international runway into the arena. That bright orange color really popped on those trench coats. Really gorgeous silhouette. And I love the gentleman, the tailored blazer and those very kind of preppy Ivy League stripes. It really, uh, you know, hit home with a lot of the trends that we saw in the spring 2012 runways. Yeah, it's definitely eye-catching. You can even see in the picture, they just sort of jump out at you. They do. Um, so there was a lot of pressure for Great Britain to have an amazing uniform. What's the verdict? I thought they did a fantastic job. Interesting. I thought so too. I liked it. They, they really did. Last night, uh, someone from Stella McCartney's camp actually tweeted that she did not design these particular uniforms. <laughs> and so this was done by a fast fashion retailer in the UK called Next. Uh, really great, a very futuristic sport. Um, you know, I love the white. I love those pops of gold foil. I thought it really had a fantastic feeling. And, you know, if you're going for the gold, you really want to wear yeah, it. Yeah, so. you might as well bring it. You mentioned Stella McCartney because there was a tweet that yes. uh, criticized some of her uniforms, but those are for competition, I take it. Exactly. So Stella had designed the performance wear for the athletes, as well as the um, uniforms for the podium, and also for the Olympic athletes in the, in the village as well. All right, so those were some of the hits, but Spain received a lot of negative attention <laughs> when uh, when they got out there. Uh, what did you notice about the Spanish uniform? It's true. I mean, first thoughts: um, Can I get fries with that? Oh. It's just really that fast, fa that 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 fast food coloring. It's, yeah. it's a very hard color palette to work with, and I feel that the red color was just a little bit. The tone of it was a bit too garish. Um, well, you know, it's funny because the Netherlands were also bright, but mm -hmm. these are bright, but these don't work. I think it's just. The <laughs> color combination of, of the of the two of, of the red and the yellow together so maybe for future olympics pick one as the key accent <laughs> color <laughs> stick to one okay so last but certainly not least how did the canadians do they did a great opinion. job <laughs> the hudson's bay company provided the uniforms they designed them and i thought they were great really you know showcases canadians and our love of the outdoors with those tailored khaki pants um, the jackets were great with that kind of sporty color blocking across the chest, which in fact is uh, kind of um, a vibe back to the 1976 Montreal Games with that kind of uh, vintage Canada retro uh, inspiration across the front. And, you know, it's great. At the end of the day, it's all about the athletes and they're so excited to be out there. So fashion is really just one very small mm -hmm. element of the opening ceremonies. Yeah, they're athletes. Who cares about fashion, <laughs> right? <laughs> Everybody else that was watching. Sarah, thanks so much for this. That's Sarah Castleman, Thank senior you. editor of Fashion News at Fashion Magazine. Thank you.